70 is an awful lot. We got a basketball team and a sewing circle in there, which cut into it a little bit, but it was a big lift. We were at it for quite a while. It's an idea we started talking about a year ago, so we had a lot of time to cogitate, a lot of time to work, so. Lots of really interesting personalities, so let's just touch on a few of them. We're gonna begin with a guy named Larch Hansen from Stu Ben. He is a, a pioneering seaweed harvester and uh, runs something called Maine Seaweed, has been up in Stu Ben for decades and decades, and so we had this conversation with him about like the relationship you form with the land, how you start to think of yourself as almost being in a marriage. Um, he pontificated on that, he pontificated on what he tries to teach the generations of interns he's been able to have up there, and it's sort of emblematic of this idea that folks with that level of experience have so much more to tell you than somebody on like a 30 under 30 list. A gentleman named Doug Rawlings, he's from the town of Chesterville, one of the founders of the organization Veterans for Peace. Yeah, and Doug is on the younger side on this list. Doug is in his early 70s, uh, he might just be 70. We had beers together in Farmington, heard all about this organization that, that he helped found years ago after his Vietnam experience, uh, bringing veterans together to talk about the abolition of war. And the really interesting conversation to have there was about how that group of you know predominantly Vietnam vets in the beginning now relates to a whole new generation of veterans coming from Afghanistan, coming from Iraq. So it's kind of all about multi-generationality. Talk about a guy with roots, a gentleman named Holly Beers, who runs the general store in Vanceboro, way off in eastern Maine. Holly Beers, who is uh, oh, pushing 100. I can't remember how old Holly is, but he's over 90 in any case. He's very much emblematic of what we wanted to do with this, find folks who weren't necessarily like household names or celebrities or, or state leaders, but who are everything in their community. He has been running this general store in a town that doesn't have a lot of commercial business. Um, you know, since he was a young man, he knows more about his neighborhood than anybody else you're gonna run into in Vanceboro, and we were lucky he shared some of it with us. From Machias Port, a pastor by the name of Francois, I gotta check so I don't, don't mess it up. Pastor Akola Mongo. Mongo. And he came to Maine uh, as a young seminarian in the 70s, went back to his native Cameroon for a while, but married a Mainer and came back here and has been, I think, 30 years now running a small church in Machiasport, hearing about his experiences as an immigrant, as somebody from away, but who still has a really long, you know, breadth of experience in Maine and, you know, what it's like to run a church in a small town where you only have a couple dozen parishioners um, and how his relationship with his faith has changed over the years that was a really really interesting conversation some women who are a real inspiration again every one of them over the age of 70 the Maine pioneers basketball team I mean that's the thing about this issue is that like Maine has the highest median age in the country as we all know that made this seem like a good fit for us but it also has this reputation of older folks in Maine who are still continuing to be active still continuing to kick I, can I say, I'm gonna say kick butt in, in various different kinds of ways, you know, still pursuing their passions. And the ladies of the Maine Pioneers who just came in like second place in a national tournament a year ago are a great example of this. They play hard and they have each other's backs and just like a great little tight knit unit of people who wanna keep pursuing what they love regardless of age. And let's end with what is an absolutely adorable love story. A couple from Rumford, Ann Wood and Joe Soroy, if I'm saying that correctly, I hope I am. Uh, a couple who will just win everybody's hearts. Monica Wood, a contributor we always love to work with, a great novelist and writer, she said, my sister and her husband have the best like meet cute of uh, folks like finding love later in life. And I'm not gonna give away anything of the story, but uh, the two of them having to spend a night in the wilderness together as they're falling in love. And uh, they're just sort of embraced by their community in Rumford made for a really, really terrific little piece.